Hey, David. Yeah, the CBC Fed, Fed survey, we're back into the field to see if anything changed from the Fed meeting. We thought our respondents not quite as hawkish as the um, uh, futures market, which is pricing in at this moment uh, about five rate hikes. Take a look at some of the results here. The uh, average respondent uh, is looking for 3.7 hikes this year, which really means three hikes and a debate over a fourth right there. The average funds rate seen at just over 1% by year end. Uh, next year, another three hikes are forecast with the funds rate rising to 1.8%. Only one respondent sees five hikes, and there's little support even for a 50 basis point rate hike, which has been bantied about uh, for that first hike in March. Mark Zandi of Moody's Analytics writes, quote, investors are pricing in five quarter point rate increases this year. The Fed must begin normalizing rates, but both the Fed and investors are likely getting ahead of themselves. The outlook for inflation now running at a hot 7% year over year is for a decline of 4.2% this year into 2.9 by the end of 2023. So the more dovish outlook on rates does seem to come with a belief that inflation will come down. Another reason, which is important here, respondents are looking for more balance sheet runoff than they did in the prior survey, that is before the meeting. The average looks for the balance sheet to begin running off in July and to total $460 billion this year. That's up from three eighty dollars in the forecast before the meeting. Uh, that grows to $930 billion next year, up from eight sixty, dollars and $2.5 trillion in total runoff over two years and eight months. That is less than the prior survey by about $300 billion. So the Fed may eventually prove this more hawkish view on rates to be correct, but it's also possible the Fed will do somewhat less on rates and, and, uh, and a bit less on the balance sheet if inflation shows signs of slowing. Morgan?